Hey, what's going on, Internet? It's Milkstars here, and boy, do I have a surprise for you. Today marks the beginning of a new series that I plan to do on YouTube called... The Big Picture! So without further ado... Ladies and gentlemen... Uh, let's get ready to rumble! It's JavaScript time! JavaScript is one of the most popular and dynamic languages out there used for creating and developing websites. It can do tons of different things, including controlling the web browser and editing content that's already been displayed, which we call asynchronous communication. What the hell is that? Now, if you're not well versed in tech, I probably just confused you. Your face is probably something like... What? Asynchronous communication is the idea that a task can run while another task is running in the background. To give you an example, let's imagine that you're in line at Chipotle. Now, if you know Chipotle like I do, around noon and around 6 to 7 p.m., the lines can get ridiculously long to the point where you're waiting 30 minutes to get a freaking burrito. Now imagine that you could go to the grocery store, do your laundry, and work out, all while waiting in line at Chipotle. That's the power of asynchronous programming. To give you a little history, JavaScript was developed in 1995 by Brendan Eich, who was working originally at Netscape at the time. Fun fact, JavaScript wasn't the original name though. It was actually called Mocha. Which, personally, I have no problem with because I love coffee. Once the language was complete, JavaScript was taken to ECMA, or the European Computers Manufacturers Association. The standards process was continued, and in 1999, ECMAScript 3 was released, which is the standard for JavaScript today. Since then, JavaScript has exploded, exploded. into a cycle of new innovation and evolution. Many popular frameworks such as the Node.js platform along with Express.js allow us to use JavaScript on the server side. And while all of that's going on, HTML5 APIs open up WebSockets to allow always-on communication. Which basically means you can get data on geolocation and access device features such as the accelerometer on your phone. Newer frameworks like AngularJS and Facebook's React allow us to create interactive interfaces that allow us to eliminate code we would otherwise have to write. And I can't wait to go into detail on what each one does in their own respective video. With all the popular JavaScript frameworks, libraries, and compilers, there is no better day than today to start learning JavaScript, or at least to start understanding it. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the JavaScript edition in the Big Picture series. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button below. It helps me way more than you think and it gives me encouragement to make more videos in this series. And if you're into everything tech, consider subscribing to my channel for more content like that. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video, Internet.